This evening, 2014, we're actually opening our new Grimsby School of Art, but it's also our 70th anniversary for the Grimsby Institute. I feel so privileged and proud that we have such a fantastic building in Grimsby that can showcase all the really excellent work that our talented students produce. This is added value to what already is the most amazing educational facility in the South Bank. We can see exactly how people are going to develop. We can see exactly what talent has been put out. We're on the up and up. This is a creative environment. This is a creative borough. We have got everything going for us now. We're going to be positive. We will move forward. And now we, we are world beaters. This is the place. This isn't end of the world. This is beginning of a new world. I'm Frances Sorrell and I'm here to help open the new art school at Grimsby and I'm very, very honoured to be here. Grimsby have been part of the Saturday Art Club now for four years and they've been a very, very important part of it because of the special nature of the tutors, the commitment that they show. They're very, very, very committed and they're very committed to their local community and we did a link this year with Thomas Heatherwick Studio, famous for the cauldron and various other things, really extraordinary studio, and they have supported and advised in making this incredible sculpture. We always wanted something when we were working with Saturday Art Club, something that was big and something that could really kind of be here forever, that there was a legacy um, of, of the past. And I think the sculpture depicting the three footfalls of the three different art schools has come out really brilliantly and I think that you know there is a great legacy there now. We collaborated with Francis uh, and John on a Saturday Club trip and I said we were instructed in making a public sculpture for the opening of the art building here at Grimsby and um, just like that uh, which is she said uh, I'd love to have a word with Thomas Heatherwick Studios and see if they'll you know uh, work alongside you and give you some tuition and help the kids sort of design so we had lots of collaboration with those we had lots of meetings and design critique um, to get us to that stage it's been a hell of a big deal really and um, I very much wanted the kids to be part of making it so that that aided the design process as well they've had to think about vandalism and materials and you know reflected different things in the design so it's been a it's been a big old project but I think it's worked London calling to the following towns Now war is declared, battle comes down London calling to the underworld Come out of the cupboard, you boys and girls London calling, now don't look to us Phony pizza mania is pizza and the dust London calling, see we ain't got no swing Except for the ring of the truncheon amazingly aspirational project for Grimsby and I think what it does is it, it speaks volumes about the ambition of the, the Institute and the tutors in, in creating a, a, an amazing beacon really for creativity locally and we hope that they'll be able to draw on their experiences with students from the past and the younger people that they're working with through organisations like us to be able to kind of continue fostering this amazing creative generation locally. It's important for our students to collaborate as much as possible with other disciplines, not just in art and design, but across the spectrum in media, in TV, and you know, film, and theatre. And we all get involved on projects because, in that way, unexpected things happen and, and it, we develop creatively. And I'm trying to push my students along that road as much as possible. And it's started to pay dividends. It's early days, but it's starting to pay some dividends. So. This is one of the first regional game studios, there's two, there's one in um, Hull, Platform, and there's Platform South, which is the one that we have over here. They're an independent, creative game space designed to incubate games development teams into small businesses so that they can then release their games onto the bigger platforms and get the attention of the big games companies like Microsoft and Sony and Apple. I think one of the great things that I'm seeing here in Grimsby, in Grimsby Institute tonight, is, is all the different ways um, that the Institute is, is encouraging people both to be creative but also to stay here. This is the Institute's commitment to um, the games students and the games industry in general for this region and represents uh, a real major step forward for our industry in this area, it really is. 
the young people at school come and see the new art school, come and visit it, join the Saturday Club and think global. I think that's the biggest important thing, think global.